Chuck, Judy, can you tell us what the children started saying, talking about the camping trip with mom? What, what were the boys starting to say? Braden was the one who drew the picture of the minivan and the, it was price, and that was in the summer of 2010. And they, uh, the teachers asked him who the people were in the minivan. And he said, well, that's my daddy, that's Charlie, and that's me. And then he added, mommy's in the trunk. And they were disturbed with, with that, of course. And then he said that they went camping and mommy and daddy left the uh, car. And then mommy didn't come back. And when I asked Charlie when the last time he remembered mommy was, some in unguarded moments, he would say that um, mommy uh, was the camping trip. He saw him on the camping trip. And I said, well, daddy said that mommy didn't go on the camping trip. And then he'd say, oh, I don't remember. And then that was it. He would just clam up. There's no more. So that's what they were saying. So Ed, were the, were the police aware of all of this? Were they in process of acting on that in any way? Well, the West Valley Police Department had that information and was working with us, and I think that's probably a big trigger into what happened because Josh felt the uh, walls coming around him. And I think that he doesn't want the world to know the truth. And the drastic act he took was to stop the world from hearing the truth, which was going to come out, which I think everybody believes. Us in law enforcement, just as much as the families and everybody in the community, know what happened.